Hi and welcome again with Amraco Tutorials. Uh, today we are doing part 12. So today what we are going to talk about, as I said in the previous video, we are trying to pick something new uh, to talk about it. So today I have chosen uh, Amraco Forums to talk about it. And this video will be uh, will give introduction about Amraco Forums and how it's useful to use it for the editor and uh, yeah, it will be more for editors. And uh, we'll see how to install it and we'll try to to show you uh, the benefit of this uh, forums so firstly let's go to uh, Umbraco, Umbraco uh, forums website so to see what they are saying there so uh, what I want to mention is uh, how it's easy and how it's useful to use it this is the most important things for me so they what they said here and uh, they talk about the multi steps. There's something nice for me too. Uh, if you go here, they have uh, nice interfaces and it's customized. You can change the theme for that. I will show you how to do this stuff. Also, there is something called workflow, it's something very useful. So, when you uh, submit your form, uh, you have m many steps after that you can do through the workflow. We'll see that. So how to export your data and you can export it, you can store it, you can publish straight away to the to your website to the front. It depends how, how you want it. So that's in very briefly what's Umbraco Forums. I'm sure it's paid, it's not free. But I think for this price it's worth uh, to try it. Uh, I think it's not bad to use it. Why not bad? You will see what the feature they give. I think it will worth it will worth hundred percent the surprise. So let's close this one and we back to our website. Uh, before I start, as you remember, before we have implement uh, something here that co contact us. So if you remember that before we have create this uh, HTML elements here, when we have create always a, a same for the controller so if I want to customize this this stuff here I want to back to the developer to add or remove something but with Umbraco forums the editor has uh, the ability to do this stuff by himself how's that let's go to the back office and see how is it so in the back office uh, firstly we need to install the Umbraco forums how to install Umbraco forums we choose this forms from the navbar and install it will take a few seconds and will refresh the page and show you uh, something new so this is the first uh, page after an uh, installation uh, let's close it from here so we have installed the uh, current version it's 8.3.1 and you can buy the license if you want so uh, what's important for me how to create this forum so how we can create this forum? Just we choose forums from here. Uh, the good things they have uh, exist template. You can choose empty one, or you have there is here uh, two more for the comment and for the uh, contact uh, forum. So I will choose the contact forum. This one will generate for me uh, a new forum. I just uh, give it name and I save it. Uh, it's easy and simple. I, I will just try to show you what they have now. After that, we can create a new forum, or maybe in the next video, we create a new forum to see more that uh, what they have, uh, about the conditions, about the workflow, and uh, more. So here, as you see, they give the name is contact forum straight away here, and they give name, email, and message. And there is this one here too for the consent. Uh, let's save this one. So just this one is just briefly I'm just showing you what's what's happening here so if I want to call this uh, forum in my uh, one of my pages let's suppose I want to call it in the uh, contact page same we have one form there I will just uh, put uh, this new one let's suppose maybe it could be under this one here I don't know where it will be but we just will try to see how is it so here how to call that a forum I have created before and to to show it to the end user here so it's easy and simple same how I call the macros exactly same but here I will see something here call it 
insert uh, form with theme if i press on it i will choose the form i have created already you remember this uh, name and they ask you about the theme as i mentioned before i said to you it's customized you can customize the color and the styles how you like so i will choose the uh, default one and there is one here something more about the scripts i will leave this one off i will just to make you understand this what's mean this one to include or exclude the the scripts the script that needed by the forums so i will leave this one off this will generate error but i want to show you what's mean that exactly so let's open this one and save it here so after we save this one we'll go to the front and to see how it's rendered in the uh, front so now we can go to the front and just refresh our page and we'll see the forum should be under the old forum here we are so uh, this is the old forum and if you go down scroll more down you will find the new forum and you'll see here this message we'll talk about it so they ask you about to put your name and the email and the message and you accept the consist here so what about this message here uh, this means there is a few uh, required library by the forums you need to include it so if you press on this link uh, this link here and we'll see what they mean with this one so this man is just pre preparing your front preparing your front mean there is a few library you should include it in your website so uh, you have two solutions uh, first one you copy this stuff and it's and post it in the layout the layout mean I th let's show me show you very fast here so just you work to the layout and put it in the in this layout here or this is the first solution a second solution uh, you can insert it in the forums so how we insert that in the forum let's back to our forum in the back office we choose the forum press again to insert forum we are in the same forum now just we need to edit it so I can say excludes secrets if I submit this one now and I save it it will be fine it will be added automatically this uh, the required libraries but I prefer to add this one in case if someone he don't know how to use that stuff or he included or not included so I think the best way is to copy this uh, uh, JavaScript library and include it in your layout it will be easier and better for the uh, editor so if you back again here one more time refresh our uh, page yeah that's great now we don't have that message so I can't test it you can write an email write your message accept this one if you press submit this will submit your data to the database and will say to you has me submitted so uh, the second thing is we need to know uh, where this data goes or how I, how I can get this data let's confirm this one yeah they said to you thank you that's just styling as I said to you you can uh, change the style how you like so let's back to our back office so I want to know where is that data the when someone submit data so that data it will goes under the same form I been or I have created uh, to entries in the entries I can see everything has been submitted let's try one very fast here one more time so let's refresh the page and reload it I will see if I press on this one now here I will see everything has been submitted by the user so we can confirm it one more time let's try hard refresh So we'll choose the name and the email and write test, accept this one and submit it. So after submitting, I will back again to refresh my page. So I will see my new data here. Ah, oh, three times passed it here, no problem. So right, if I press on this one, I find everything's here. So this one it's very briefly uh, we are talking to uh, we talk today about the forums uh, 
I don't want to talk too much about it today. I just this one introduction and how we install it and how is it useful. In the next videos, I will show you more about the uh, how to create a new one and put uh, and insert the which element we need depend on the data type we need it. And we can I can show you how to do the workflow. And what's more, yeah, we can I can show you how to use the conditions. So we have, uh, I think we have a uh, good plan for the next video. And maybe if we have more time, I will show you how to create, uh, uh, let's suppose a new document type, if, uh, a new data type. If we don't have something here, you need to customize something. You need to add something in you. If something here, you need it, it's not exist. Let's suppose here they have a recapture uh, two. If you need to create recapture three, how to, how to add it to this list. Uh, this one maybe it will be planned for the third video of this series uh, so i will end this video now i'll see you in the next video bye bye